Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. And this is John. And this is Dick. What are we doing? We've got pork butt going. We're here at Squirrel Camp 2020. Woo! Woo! Yeah, we uh, we got some dinner going with some pork butt we're going to be eating. In we're just gonna... a minute, we got to flip it, put some barbecue sauce on it. We're waiting for Tom to get out here, and then, you know, we're going to hit the sack early so we can go after some more squirrels tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Thanks. Dick tip. Stack your firewood around the stove to dry it out before putting it in. Probably gonna need some help, maybe. We've had this pork butt going for a couple hours now. I'm gonna flip it over onto the fatty side. Oh, pretty yeah. impressive. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to slice that apart, pour barbecue sauce over the whole thing, put it over some low heat, and let it go until Tom gets here. Hurry up, Tom. Oh, look at it. It's gorgeous. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, I would just lay up the whole thing, man. That's that cast iron Dutch oven barbecue pork butt. My adventure lifestyle. Oh, we died. Low heat, I thought. Oh, good point. That's low heat. <laughs> this is Terry. He came to see us. It's my brother. Terry. It's Dick's brother, Terry. Older brother? Yeah. Older yep. brother, right? yeah. Yep. Oldest? Oldest. 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 The eldest. eldest of the Ryan clan. Ryan Patriarch. He came here, yeah, he really just came here for the pork butt. I love butts. Uh, we all love butts. Especially pork butts. <laughs> so there we go, we're just gonna, you know, Tom's not gonna be here till late, so we just decided we're gonna dig into this beautiful... Oh my god. Oh yeah. My... yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll let you guys know how that is after dinner. Okay. Well, we finished dinner. We had our pork, we're splitting wood. Tom just got here. And Tom just got here. Welcome Tom, thank you sir. How was the drive? Not too bad. So now that Tom's here, we're going to uh, finish what we do, finish our beers and get to bed so we can get to squirrels early in the morning. Oh, Kara's <laughs> happy to see Tom. Hi Kara, hi. hi. She smells our best friend. Yeah. You filming me get naked? Yeah. Please don't be filming me. Too. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Feeling pretty good. We ate breakfast. Now, uh, we're gonna go hunt some squirrels. Squirrels! One of those squirrels. We had a bunch of eggs and coffee and biscuits. It was delicious. Just a bunch of meat. And Kara's ready to go get squirrels. And Dick's ready to go get squirrels. Oh, okay. Dick's gotta get pants on before he goes get squirrels. <laughs> Tom's ready. I'm ready. I'm John's ready. ready. Harry's out here somewhere too getting ready. We're gonna go find us some squirrels. Got the fire tampered down. Let's go into the day. Oh, Kara's ready to go. Oh, we got a bunch of Jeeps. This is great. We look awesome. We're Dick tip. Measure your hunting success with memories made. Get on his dam down river. John wants us to just keep going into the woods. We have seen nothing yet. Kara also would like to keep going into the woods. But we're enjoying this marsh and this dam. And the beauty of the winter. Oh. 
So you guys go how far into the woods to shoot the squirrels and you don't see any? Uh, pretty far. You know there's no, you know there's a bunch of squirrels in my backyard, right? Yep. <laughs> That's what my dad says every time I say we're going squirrel hunting. He's like, you know I got about 50 in my backyard. Super useful. Can I shoot a gun in your backyard? You cannot, not in the city of Rochester. Oh, bummer, yeah, what a bummer. We are so deep in behind the Connors Marsh Swamp. Following the Connors Marsh Creek. Connors Creek, maybe? Across the dam, following the creek up. Not seen anything. I've heard some chirps here and there, but can't even get close to locating them. It's not gonna stop us, we can keep moving. It seems like the birds and everything are waking up now, so maybe it'll get a little easier. How was it? We're trying to cre cross the creek without getting the dog wet. Wish us luck. That's a lot of water moving through that little narrow spot. Trying to find our spot. Kara, yeah. can you get over here? Well, she's not gonna. I'm hoping she'll jump. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Oh my god. Oh, good girl. Oh, how are we gonna get the dog across? We had to cross through this logging wall and now we're back on the camps road because we got to get Terry and John back so they can get out here and go back to society. And the three of us are going to party more. Kara had a good adventure though. We're going back to camp. Let's go back to camp. Hunt back to camp. I'm just sitting noon time. We just got back to camp. Terry and John got to pack up and get back to society. But we'll miss them as Tom and Dick and I continue the journey for squirrels. It was good to have you guys here. We'll see you on another adventure. Delicious cinnamon roll. Yep. John's just getting ready to pull out. Kara's saying goodbye. Bye, John. Getting ready to settle in for a minute because there's a storm a blowing. Yeah. I've been having some sleet. We're gonna take shelter, get the stove kicking, and uh, eat some lunch. Then we're gonna get back at the squirrels. Mm -hmm. The guys went out to get more firewood because that's all we've got left. Nick's gonna come back out tonight. I'm just cleaning up a little. Got some dinner dishes and stuff. I just boil some water in there with some camp suds. They really need to get back with more firewood though because we got enough for... Maybe that gets us a little past dark. Luckily we got a load in right now. Winter camping is all based on your heat. Who knew? While the guys are gone, seems like a good time to show you the poop hole. Oh, we just built a box. Dig a hole under it. Put a little plank in front so you don't pee on your pants. Always leave the seat up so it doesn't get covered in ice. Because right now there's a thin layer of ice on there, but you flip it down, good to go. All right. If you're TP in a plastic baggie. Camp is just such a beautiful vision from the poop hole. It's starting to snow, so we're kicking that fire back up. It's the only way to keep the canvas dry. She's been looking for squirrels a lot lately since she got to chew on the one. So maybe maybe we've accidentally created a part-time squirrel dog. So what you're looking for with the wood stove is smoke was blacker and now it's white and wispy. And eventually it's just going to shoot heat. And you're going to come back in here, grab your damper, damper it off a little bit, trap that heat down inside. And a ruckus arose from outside. And then they returned victorious. It's decided to start snowing real good. We're all toasty warm up in Fort Green Bear. Nick came back to visit. Always glad to see him. Uh, we were gonna go out and squirrel hunt this afternoon, but the weather is atrocious. So we're just gonna hang out, play games, and eat food. Camping. 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 We didn't see any squirrels today, we didn't hunt a whole lot because the weather got really bad. We just stayed in, played games, killed beers, and now the traditional dinner of pasties at Squirrel Camp, Uncle Pete's pasties. 
Yeah, I'm excited. Are you still glad you made it out here, even though it was only for like two nights? <laughs> I'm very glad I made it out here. I'd rather be here than at work. Excellent. Yep. Definitely. We're glad you came back out, Nick. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's good to meet it's you. Fun. Now we're just gonna finish dinner and then probably drink some beers and go to bed and hopefully get up and get out for an early hunt tomorrow. That'd be great. Yeah. Night, guys. Good night. Cheers. Dick tip. Always wear your dog out before loading her in the car. Okay. Ah! last day of squirrel camp I decided to let him sleep in because I couldn't have gotten him up if I'd wanted to morning sweetie oh but Kara got up I think I'm gonna make something easy for breakfast and see if I can coax these guys out of bed and we'll pack up and go home it's always fun Kara's helping me wake the guys up Rachel wake up our snuggles we slept in because it's squirrel camp and we don't care we already got a squirrel, so that's better than every squirrel camp before this. And then there were three. Good morning. We're all awake. We're all moving. We're all packing. The last day of squirrel camp 2020 is coming to a close as we pack up our stuff. As soon as I put Kara's pad in the car, she decided it was time to go. We are taking too long. We're packing up the rest of this stuff. There's a snowstorm coming soon. We really just have to bring the tent down and uh, get on with our bad selves. Throw it all in the trailer and go. Tom, glad you could join us at Squirrel Camp. Always a pleasure, sir. It's it a great time. Great I don't time. like to see. I think it gets it gets better every year. It's not about getting squirrels. It's about you know getting out here with your friends after deer season. Getting some fresh air. Getting fresh air, having a good time in the woods, That's pooping. Cool. It's about pooping in in the snow, on your more knees. or less on your knees. Right. <laughs> uh, but you know if you liked this video, or if you didn't, whatever, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe down there somewhere. It's been MI Adventure Life. Thanks for watching, guys.